you're looking to make some juicy, delicious Santa Maria tri tips, stick around. <laughs> Today it's time to break in the Santa Maria Grill. Got that seasoned, I already put a video out for that if you're interested, uh, but put a link in the description below. Um, but today what we're doing is cooking some Santa Maria tri-tip on a Santa Maria Grill. So I'll be using oak today. Um, I have white oak, they normally use a red oak, um, should be very similar. And um, we'll go ahead and get that fire going. All right. I want to use our uh, charcoal chimney starter here. I just want to put a, about a half. I'll do a full. Just going to pour out. You can see, nice and hot. Right down the middle. Grab a couple logs. Put them right on top there. Going across. Nice fire going. We'll let that uh, burn down the coals and then we'll go ahead and uh, spread it out and then throw our uh, tri tips on top. All right. We'll use the front here. Right now, where the grates at, I'm running at about 275. This about this high. Nice heat. Barely hold your hand over there about one, two, three seconds starts to burn so we're gonna put these uh beautiful tri-tips on oh yeah you can see I'm using two different seasonings these are the uh, chef's cuts the little extras that we had off of there but you can see the nice graininess on there oh. so this one is the uh, my favorite Montreal steak seasoning and I'll put a link in the description if you're interested but this goes with about everything. I love this stuff. It's really nice and grainy. It has a nice uh, spice mix. Really, uh, um, really uh, tastes good. That's terrible. Um, no, I mean it just it just brings out the the meat flavor. It's it's amazing. Uh, now on this one, I'm going more traditional the Santa Maria. This uh, this rub I actually picked up in uh, Central Coast in um, Avila. So this is a called Monkey Spit. Wimpy Chimp, uh, made by Wimpy Chimp, and uh, really good. It has parsley, salt, pepper, garlic, but uh, goes really well with uh, steaks and obviously uh, tri tips. So, uh, rubbed one of those with that, and uh, we'll go ahead and get these on the grill and let's get going. These shouldn't take too long, it should take about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And uh, like I said, we got a nice fire going, so let's break this thing in. Ooh, you hear that sizzle? Oh, I love that. A little thicker side of the back. Get a little nice extra heat back there. Put this back here. Get my uh, monkey spit one going. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. And of course the the chef's cuts. These are little extras that were uh, that are trimmed off. So rub them in. Oh yeah, right about there. Again, about 275. We'll go ahead and leave them there. And just taking in that smoke, you get a really nice smoky flavor. I already, I already smell it on myself, just uh, being by this fire. Um, so this should be nice. All right. Okay. All right now I got the tri tips on the Santa Maria. Um, Looking, I'm running at about uh, 325, 3, uh, yeah, 325. Um, it's good for now. I just want to get a nice sear on both sides, but just want to talk about the advantages of this type of grill. Um, one of them is that obviously you have a nice uh, grilling area, and this one's a uh, 20 by 30, and you can raise and lower this to increase, decrease, so you can sear a steak and then raise it up, so you're just getting the radiant heat. And the other nice thing, you can hear this, the, as the juices are dripping off the meat, it's falling into those hot coals underneath, and you're getting, you know, that flavor is just getting, you know, steamed right back up at these um, beautiful tri-tips. So, um, it's just, it's, you know, a simple design, but it, 
it's very effective and uh, man I can feel the, the heat just radiating off of this so and the smell is just can't be beat so. all right let's see what these are looking like oh yeah got a nice crust on there getting quite a bit of heat Turned around too. Get those nice and seared off, and then uh, I mean raise the grate a bit, just so it gets a really nice low and slow. But you can see that that's looking really good. Ooh, my my chef's bites are almost ready. here and right now we're running at about um, 325 so I'm raise this up a bit want to go a little slower get a little more smoke in it um, you can do hot and fast on these but uh, I'm just gonna want to get a little bit more of the smoke going so and let's check our coals down here spread them out a bit All right, let me get you a close up here. <clears throat> They're about, running about 120 right now. But oh, man, these things are looking delicious. You can see that uh, Santa Maria rub, the uh, parsley that they put in it. So those are my coals right now. So you can see right now we're running at about 250 at this height, so. I'm gonna go ahead and let these go up to about 130 and then I'm gonna pull them. So, all right, let's keep going. Right, I think these babies are ready to go. They look delicious, look at this thing. Nice crust on them. 132, where I want them. I was a little past, a little past, but uh, my, uh, my some of my family doesn't like it uh, medium. So, let's go ahead and pull these out. Beautiful. All right. All right, let's cut into this first tri-tip. I got a taste tester here, my daughter. Hello. All right, so let's cut this first. Right. Oops, sorry about that. Malfunction. So on tri-tips, the grain goes uh, this way here and then it changes over here. So we'll cut it right in half. The other one. Montreal sticks. Second 
on. I agree. All right. This one's still really good, though. I'm going to eat it all. All right. Hope you found this helpful. If you did, give me a like. Please subscribe. See you in the next one. Turn on your post notifications. What? Oh, yeah. What was that? Turn on your post notifications. Okay. My notifications. I don't know. All right. Take care. Mm -hmm.